In the previous video, we have seen change in interval overview of Fourier series. Now we will discuss example. So this example was asked in GDU in 2016 as well as 2012. So 2012 question zero range zero three and 2016 same question था लेकिन यहाँ पे इसकी जगह पे ये था. So same method है और identify किस तरह करना है कि ये change of interval का है. So as in the previous video I told that the limit or the range will be in the form of some constant यानि कि यहाँ पे कोई constant दिया होगा अगर constant दिया हुआ है तो change of interval की follow method follow करनी है but in replace अगर यहाँ पे suppose pi की format में let us suppose यहाँ पे pi दिया हुआ है तो आपको first initial method follow करनी है but यहाँ पे हमें 3 दिया हुआ है so अब हमारे पास है 0 to 3 तो हमें initially period equals to 2L equals to 3 यानि कि 2L equals to 3 ले ले because it is the final limit and Fourier series f of x equals to a0 by 2 plus sigma n equals to 1 to infinity a of n cos n pi x by l plus bn sin n pi x by l like this so you apply karna hai now let us calculate a0, a n and b n. So a0 kis tarah se calculate karenge? So a0 equals to, okay, I forgot to write, 1 by L, 0 to 2L, f of x, dx. So yaha pe amara function hai, f of x it is 2x minus x squares and L ki value yaha pe, okay, like 3 by 2. So yaha pe put up karenge, so it will be 2 by 3. And 0 to L, f of x ki value hai 2x minus x square dx. So, is function ko hum integrate karenge. So, we will get like this 4 by 3 x square by 2 minus x cube by 3. Okay, fine. So, is tarah ka aapko equation milega and you have to solve like this oh sorry i have made mistake uh, this 2 by 3 will be here and this 2 will be here so you cancel ho jayega and the final answer you will get like this it is x square minus x cube by 3 okay and the limits are 0 to 2l so 0 to 2l ab yahan pe 2l ki jagah pe value put up kar deni 3 so i will put up from here 3 and 0 to 3. So, जब हम limits यहाँ पे apply करते हैं, तो हमें answer मिलता है, 3 की limit apply करेंगे, so we will get 3 squared equals to 9 minus, it is 27 by 3, और 0 रखेंगे, तो obviously वो part हमारा 0 हो जाएगा. So, as you can see, हम ये part को solve करते हैं, तो ये part भी हमें 0 मिलता है. So, what we get finally, a0 equals to 0. Okay, so a0 ki value 0 hai, we will remind that and we will calculate the value of a n now. Now we will calculate value of a n. So a n equals to 1 by L, 0 to 2 L, f of x cos n by x by L, dx. Okay, I will again repeat cos n by x by L, ye dono different hai, we are not taking this part, okay. So ye part hume. नहीं सिर्फ हम n कैलकुलेट करेंगे सो वैल्यू पुट अप करेंगे 1 by n तो हमें मिलेगा 2 by 3 एंड 0 to 2 n की वैल्यू 3 व्हाट इज f of x इट इज 2x minus x square सो so, 2x minus x square cos ओके सी हियर cos n by x ओके okay, l की वैल्यू हम यहां पे पुट अप करेंगे सो इट विल लुक लाइक 2 pi x सॉरी 2 pi nx by 3 okay i hope you understand when l ki value put up ki so now integration by parts me apply karna hai is pure equation mein so we will take this as u and this will be v so 
when i will apply integration by part what what will happen here like this it will it will look like 2 by 3 first part as it is that means 2x minus x square cos 2 pi nx by 3 is come integration coming is so it will be sine 2n pi x by 3 okay or yaha pe coefficient of x hume yaha pe likhna hai so multiplication with 3 by 2 pi n okay now minus differentiation of this part we will get like this 2 minus 2x and integration of this part like sine 2 n pi x by 3 it will become like minus cos 2 n pi x by 3 okay and ye coefficient carry forward hoga or is coefficient ko hum iske saath multiply karenge then the answer will look like this 9 by 4 pi square n square okay okay like this now next part is plus 2 minus 2x is come in differentiation nikalenge so minus 2 and again we will integrate this part is part ka again integration nikalenge so minus cos 2n pi x is ka ho jayega minus sin 2n pi x by 3 okay so ye minus ko mein carry forward kar raha because it is not in the formula of cos coefficient i will take like this 27 by 8 pi cube n cube and finally limits will be 0 to 3 so it is hard ye thoda solution hard hai. don't make mistake in this otherwise the whole sum will be wrong so i hope you understand this part let us apply the limits hum limits apply karenge 0 to 3 pure equation mein. but one thing you understand that agar hum 3 apply karte pure equation mein. so yahan pe kya ho jayega it will be like 2 3 is a 6 matlab sin kis mein convert ho jayega even function so sin sorry not even function like iska angle ho jayega 6 pi okay 6 n pi or sine 2 pi, 4 pi, 6 pi, 8 pi that all are equals to 0. So, jahaan pe bhi sine aara hai, haam usko 0 le lenge, jab hum limit 3 apply karenge. And 0 apply karenge, tab bhi sine wala part 0 ho jayega. So, whatever we get will be in the cos part. So, let us see how we are applying the limit. I will just carefully see how I am applying the limits in, the, in this part. So, अब हम 3 apply कर दे तो ये part 0 हो जाएगा और ये part 0 हो जाएगा so हमारे पास रहेगा like this और इस part में हम 3 value put up करेंगे so x की जगह पे 3 होगा this 3 gets cancelled and the remaining will be 2 and pi और n की जगह पे आप 0, 1, 2, 3 whatever put up करोगे so cos की value like होगी cos 0 और cos 2, cos 4 और ये सारे पॉसिबल में कॉस की वैल्यू 1 आएगी सो वी कैन डायरेक्टली पुट हियर या इस पार्ट की जगह पे मैं डायरेक्टली 1 पुट अप करूंगा सो व्हाट विल बी लाइक माइनस यहां पे 3 पुट अप करेंगे सो वी विल गेट माइनस 4 एंड इन दिस पार्ट आई विल गेट माइनस दिस पार्ट बिकम्स 1 ये पूरा पार्ट 1 हो जाएगा एंड दिस पार्ट आई विल राइट एज इट इज माइनस 9 4 पाई स्क्वायर n स्क्वायर ओके क्लियर and this minus minus it will be plus so let us write directly 4 now this part is 0 now we 0 apply karenge so this again 0 ho jayega yahan pe hame 0 apply karna hai lekin usse pehle upper limit minus lower limit so minus and then you have to start from this so yahan pe main apply karunga to ye minus aayega and yahan pe main 0 apply karunga to first it will be 2 and again this part i will solve i will again get minus 9 by 4 pi square and square okay so i hope this part is clear let us differentiate this part huh, this i can write like this up like sign the confusion ho raha hai to first ye bracket ko solve karte to is bracket ko nikal dete because minus minus it will become plus okay 
Now this plus and minus it will be minus. Now it is clear. Four here gets cancelled. Two one za and it is two two za. I hope this part is clear. And this part ko abam solve karte. So what the answer we will get? Uh, where I have to write? Let me write here. When you will solve this part, ये part को आप अगर solve कर दो तो आपको answer मिलेगा minus nine n square pi square. This will be the answer of a of n. I am writing here. You please solve this part as I have no space, so I am not solving. Let us calculate b n for this sum. Now we will calculate b n. So what is the formula? B n equals to one by l integration of zero to two l. f of x sin n pi x by l dx. Okay, so this part we solve. Kar de. So what I will put one same way. I will do two by three zero to three as we have already in a in calculate. Kiya. Same method. We will calculate. Karenge. Two x minus x square sin n pi x by l. अब यहाँ पे l की जगह पे मैं value put up करूँगा, so it will look like what is the value? It will be two n pi x by three n dx. Okay. Now इस part पे हम integration by parts apply करते हैं, so let us see two by three. First part is as it is, so two x minus x square. साइन का इंटीग्रेशन हम करेंगे तो मिल जाएगा हमें माइनस कॉस टू एन पाई एक्स बाय थ्री एंड अगेन वी विल स्टार्ट थ्री बाय टू एन पाई एस इट इस कोएफिशिएंट नाउ नेक्स्ट इस माइनस सो टू माइनस टू एक्स डिफरेंशिएशन ऑफ दिस पार्ट अगेन इंटीग्रेशन स्पार्क का तो माइनस साइन टू एन पाई एक्स बाय थ्री एंड फॉर दिस आई विल राइट नाइन बाय फोर पाई स्क्वायर एंड स्क्वायर ओके अगेन प्लस एंड फाइनली आई विल गेट माइनस टू माइनस साइन का अगेन अप्लाई करेंगे तो माइनस कॉस मिलेगा एंड दिस माइनस माइनस गेट कन्वर्टेड सो कॉस टू एन पाई एक्स बाय थ्री and here it will be 27 by 8 pi cube and cube and limits are 0 to 3 so now we apply limits apply karte. so again sign wala part 0 jayega jab we apply 3 and 0 apply karenge aur ye part ka kuch answer milega so let us see how we will get answer and we will solve this part so now applying the limits here we apply limits apply karte. so 2 by 3 यहाँ पे जैसे ही हम three apply करते हैं तो two into three it is six minus nine and next one is minus three by two and five ये part पूरा one हो जाएगा so minus one and minus one into three we get this ये part zero हो जाएगा and in this part when we apply so we will get ये again one and twenty seven by n cube pi cube Okay, eight. Okay, so here we have upper limit apply ki. Ab lower limit apply karte hai. So minus lower limit mein yahan pe hum zero apply karenge to ye part zero ho jayega. Ye part again zero hoga. So isi part mein hume apply karna hai. So what we will do is minus and this this minus we will get plus. And this part is one and here it will be twenty seven by eight. N cube pi cube. I forgot to write here two because यहाँ पे minus है और upper limit minus lower limit यहाँ पे जो minus आता है उसके साथ हम इसको merge कर देंगे so it will become plus. So now as you can see कि ये part दोनों same है और ये plus minus it will be minus. So ये cancel हो सकता है easily. Now remaining part ये solve करना है, so I will solve this part. Let me erase this part. Okay, ये part को मैंने erase कर दिया है, and when I will solve this part, it becomes two by three 
minus 3 into minus 3 by 2 and pi. Okay, as you can see, we can cancel out this part and this also gets cancelled. Minus minus it will be plus and remaining is 3 by n pi. So it is equals to bn. So bn ki value hume milti hai 3 by n pi. So now, ab hum isko Fourier, Fourier series ki formula mein hum isko apply karenge. So we will substitute bn, n and a0. So let us see what we get the series. So now, as we have a0, n and bn, so hum iski values apply karenge. So we will get 0 as a0, 0. zero. Now, अब यहाँ पे a n में constant part क्या है? It is minus nine and pi square. So minus nine and pi square को हम बाहर रखेंगे. And what we will get? It is sigma n equals to one to infinity. A n की value में हम put up करेंगे one upon n square cos two n pi x by three. Okay? And plus bn में constant है 3 by pi, so 3 by pi को हम बाहर रखेंगे and okay let me write here properly uh, 3 by pi n equals to 1 to infinity and bracket के अंदर आएगा it is 1 upon n sin 2n pi x by 3 okay so इस तरह से हम values put up करेंगे और ये है हमारा Fourier series what it is asked find a Fourier series with a period of three तो ये period of three में जो Fourier series हमने find की ये इसका actual answer है इस तरह से आपको जीडीएम में sum solve करना है thank you so much for watching my video don't forget to subscribe bell icon